Okay, I was asked by Retro Marty in the comments. He said, um, he has a problem with his Retroid Pocket application. It arrived empty of games and unable to play Game Boy Abeyance game download. If you have, if you ever have a solution, I think I would need the Retro Pocket software firm, which is located at the root of the SD card. So let's see if we can <clears throat> help you out with that. So you said that uh, it arrived and it had no games on it. So the first thing you need to do in order to check is go here. Scroll down to you see toolbox. Click on toolbox there. Scroll all the way down and you'll see this thing here that says install Retroid Pocket app. Now, if your thing didn't come with a toolbox, then, you know, you definitely got screwed over there. I doubt that they would send you a unit um, that doesn't have the pre-installed games like that. But if so, you will need to go to my download link and, uh, and follow the instructions there to do that. But let's say... It, it was able to install you would get retroid here so you click on that and it's gonna reboot to the retroid pocket system <clears throat> alright guys so <clears throat> once you get into the Retroid Pocket application here. As you see, you have all of the pre-installed games. And so what I like to do is I like to go all the way to the top, scroll over to category, then I go down one. And then if you notice at the bottom there, it says PSP. So if I click this button here to the right, you see it changes. Now this is PlayStation games, Nintendo 64, FC, <clears throat> SFC, GBA. So the gentleman said that uh, he's not able to play Game Boy Advance game. So if you're able to get to this screen here, I would think that you would be able to play any of them. We'll start this here. And as you see, it boots right up. And honestly, I haven't had an issue with any of the games on the Retroid app itself. All the games play flawlessly. As you see, everything is looking good. And so I'm going to just back out here by clicking home, clicking B. And then I'm going to switch back over to the Android by holding home. Going to the bottom here to switch system. And that's going to take me back to the Android. So if you're unable to do any of these steps here, uh, to get your GBA games working or just to get all the games back in general, let me know. Because if that's the case, then you will need to go um, to the link in the bio and download the root. And uh, it is a little tricky, but um, it's not too difficult. But if you need a video <clears throat> going through that process, I can do that. But this has been it. I hope. Uh, that helps answer your question. And uh, if you guys have any more questions regarding the Retroid Pocket, let me know. This is a very fine handheld. I've been enjoying it. So see you guys later. Bye! I was going to point you, but you probably didn't want to be on there. So you want to be on there? Bye! See you guys.